What is up? I'm Wanna Turtle, and I want to talk to you about what is, in my opinion, the next must-have product for the Pokemon TCG. Uh, I got all this information from an article from PokeBeach.com from Water Pokemon Master, and I'll put a link to description or <clears throat> link to the original article in the description. All right, let's get started. So the product we're talking about is the Pokemon Trainers Toolkit, and so just some preliminary information. This is going to MSRP for forty dollars and release June twenty-six. Hopefully by then, you know, life is kind of back to normal and there are some live events going on again. And let's just get right into the MVP of the product and that is none other than the Dene GX with DD Change. Uh, it looks like it is going to be the regular, but that's okay. This is just going to be, you know, such a useful card that is so expensive and this will definitely drive the price down if you're not even able to pick this up. But not only do we get Dedene, we get actually two Dedene. So for $40, you get two Dedenes and then we haven't even gotten to the rest of the product, but this is definitely the MVP. Um, and just this alone, if we just think about just this card, so it's like, if this is all we care about, it's $20 per, definitely drive the price down. I think the price of the, the regular Dedene is already down to $22 on TCG player. So the market has already been affected, it seems. And uh, we got some other great trainer staples, and but not only that, but they are the alternate arts. I think we're featured in Tag All Stars, and these are Oyama arts. So we got the Poke Gear 3.0, the Reset Stamp, and the Pokemon Communication. Uh, all cards that go into many decks, so very cool stuff. And uh, I feel like these are definitely the five highlight cards, but there's still more. And so the rest comes with we do get some booster packs. I feel like this could be a really cool. Uh, product to do kind of like some kind of limited draft tournament kind of thing just something to keep in mind 45 other useful cards that uh, have not really been disclosed yet and then we do have a hundred energy cards now there is some speculation whether these would be some additionally some kind of special energies or maybe some different art special energies or maybe they're just foil or something and then we got 65 sleeves and then they, they also have the code card. I'm very curious about the code card. Again, I really like the idea of doing some kind of um, limited event. And if we do a code card, maybe we can test something we can do. And then of course you always have the miscellaneous things, some dice, some condition markers, etc. So definitely, well, we used to call it straight the MVP. Guys, the price of Dedene is about to drop drastically. The price to play um, IRL in some kind of standard tournament is is going to be more realistic um, at the the only guy go to you know sometimes people aren't don't participate in events just because like oh I don't have a real deck and it's kind of expensive so that we usually play with proxies during league but they're kind of priced out of playing in a in to play competitively in a real tournament but uh, this will help quite a bit uh, Dedene isn't going to be rotated out so and it's here to stay I feel like this is kind of late to do this but I do like this idea that Pokemon is releasing products like this you know just filled with reprints that uh, yes to bring down the price to play uh, so I'm completely behind that so uh, hope this is useful information and something to look forward to again once life becomes goes back to normal and uh, yeah we can start playing some Pokemon IRL so that's gonna be it for me today thanks for watching I'm Wanda Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time